Hello, thanks for clicking and connecting. I welcome you all to another episode of uh, Telecom Training. Uh, today is our fifth episode on 5G NR or the 5G technology. So in today's uh, technology video, we will cover the 5G architecture, uh, more specifically the RAM architecture. So here we are not taking any nodes of LT or the existing network. It's a purely uh, 5G architecture only. And we're discussing about the RAM architecture today. So hope this would be helpful to you and for your interview. So before moving on to architecture, uh, let's discuss some of the terms like G node B. G node B is uh, the next generation node B, uh, like we call it E node B in LTE, we call it G node B here in 5G. So G node B is, uh, G stands for next generation or some people used to say NGNB, new generation node B or simply G node B. So this is new generation node B or the 5G node B. Uh, second thing is the core part we call it new generation core, NGC. So new generation core, so beyond 5 uh, G node B or G node B we call it uh, NGC new generation core or 5G core and then below uh, G node B like other G node B are the UEs and the connected devices they are called uh, radio access network or the next generation RAN NG RAN so we call it NG RAN NG core here in 5G and G node B in 5G so that is a little about uh, how we term uh, the how we change the naming uh, nomenclature in 5G. Now let's talk about uh, a little more about G node B. So inside G node B we have two uh, units called G node B CU and G node B DU. So DU is distributed unit and CU is a central unit. So central unit is nothing but the controller or the cloud controller, the cloud RAM. Some people used to refer it to cloud RAM. So that is uh, centralized or centrally located in some data center or in some central area from where all the distributed unit are connected. G node B DU uh, is actually the, uh, it contains three protocols. RLC, MAC and physical layer uh, protocols are uh, terminated here in DU and then CU for the higher uh, protocols like PDCP, um, RRC, okay. So now G node B DU or the distributed unit, unit uh, is actually connected to the CU via F1 interface. F1 interface can be F1 user plane and control plane. So two different interfaces will be there, F1U and F1C. So F1U is for user plane or uh, data transfer and uh, F1C for control or signaling information transfer. So we have F1 interface between G node B, CU and DU, central unit and distributed unit. One more interface, XN interface is used to connect between G node B C U to other G node B C U. Okay, so that is X N interface. Like we have X2 interface in LTE, here we call it X N interface. We connect from one C U to another C U via X N interface. Now uh, the next interface which connects the RAN to core is NG, next generation. Uh, that interface name is NG. So we have NGC or NGU. NGC stands for next generation interface for uh, control and signaling and U for user plane traffic. So to handle that we have at the core end we have two very important uh, entities. One is called AMF access and mobility function which manages the access and mobility part and UPF user plane function basically to transfer the user data or user plane data. So we have uh, this AMF and UPF here, which is connected to the G node B via NGC and NGU interface. So this uh, straight line we, uh, and the dotted line represents the uh, 
control plane and user plane signaling. So we have NGRAM uh, connected with the NG core via NG interface. That could be uh, for control and signaling uh, information transfer or for uh, user data. So that's why C and U. So NG interface to connect between core and RAM and uh, inside RAM we have XM interface to connect between different GNODB like you can see here GNODB is connected by XM interface to other GNODB and that is from CU to CU connectivity and then we have F1 interface between the DU and the CU. So F1 could be F1C and F1U for control and signaling and then user data. So that is all about uh, the 5G RAN architecture. So let's summarize again so that you can answer all the question. The interface between G node B uh, CU is called XN interface or between one G node B to another G node B it is XN interface like we have X2 interface in LTE. We have NG interface for signaling and data transfer uh, from RAN to core and we have another main interface F1 interface F1 could be F1U and F1C uh, between G node B distributed unit and G node B central unit. So that is all about the uh, RAN architecture or the 5G RAN architecture. Uh, in the next episode we will discuss about how LT and uh, uh, 5G will coexist within one uh, ecosystem or uh, if we have we are an operator we are having 4G services how we can accommodate the 5G so that is uh, the next uh, item in our channel so stay tuned and don't forget to hit like and share the video thank you so much for watching take good care of yourself till next time bye bye